Who was your toughest opponent? Like, who have you faced and you were like, oh, that was a tough fight? How did you meet me and Yerohan? If me and Yero were to fight, Ooh. who you got your money on? One, like, this is the best question of the day, like Mark. Good, like, like, you think you could dodge one of my punches? Like, if I, like, actually, like, swung at you fast? What is going on, guys? Sandy back with another banger episode. <laughs> Today, we are here with a very special guest, man. A very good dear friend of mine, Mark Castro. Have it up, have it up. Mark is a professional boxer. He is currently 11 and 0. I've been Damn. four of his fights. How many KOs? Eight KOs. Eight, Eight KOs. KOs. Eight. I, I went to the one where you knocked him out nasty, where he like folded. Yeah, that was bad. That was crazy. Yeah, it was bad. Here's the clip of Mark's knockout. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Y poco a poco fui creciendo y la vida me enseñó. That clip, like, I think when I saw that in person, I was like, all right, this guy's a real deal. Yeah. Like, he's Don't not be throwing hands. He's not walking around just jabbing. Like, he'll jab, 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 and then. Mark. Mark was also the reason why I went to my first ever Canelo fight. So, shout out to Mark for that. He hooked it up with some tickets, man. He said, yo, bro, I'm gonna fight in Las Vegas. I want you there, come through. We went ahead and bought Mark some food, but obviously as a boxer, he has to take care of his body. So he was like, yo, bro, I can't eat that. So I'm gonna be eating his food for him. <laughs> and I'm gonna be eating what I got. So unfortunately, mukbang is just gonna be us, and then he's just gonna be answering questions. And drink your water. And drink your water. First question off the rip, when you see people eating stuff like this. Mm. Oh. Show the cam, show the cam, show the cam, show the cam. <laughs> Oh. It's small as hell, huh? Go like this to Mark so you can smell it. Wait, take a little sniff of that. Did you taste it a little bit? <laughs> Food-wise, I think that's like one of the hardest part for boxers. That's what I've heard. But food-wise, how hard is it to either cut or gain weight? Which one's harder? Like, how do you manage? It's easier to gain weight. It's harder to lose weight. Bro, I've been on the bulk for the last 24 years, man. <laughs> and nothing moved? Hell no. Nah. I'm My still the same. I think it's just, it depends on the person, but for a boxer, they have to make weight, bro. Like, if there's a contract, you have to get to that weight. When you weigh in and you make weight, can you just go to your hotel and, like, dog, like, five tortas? Yeah, you basically do whatever you like. The weigh-in is the day before the fight. Mm -hmm. So can a fighter just go and, like, eat a big old pizza and, like, a... A torta and the next day wake up and be ready for the fight. Yeah, you do whatever you like. You can eat whatever you like, but sometimes it won't feel good with like five tortas or, mm -hmm. but for or like me, something heavy. Yeah, for yeah. me it'll probably be like because you've been eating so clean for so long to yeah. make way that you want to eat something that's gonna make you feel. Probably eat some bread, some eggs. Last fight I ate some I ate some chilaquiles. Ooh, that's the way. My, my, my nutrition is like you you can have chilaquiles. She's like gluten free, do this, do that. Is it healthy chill like this or like regular chill like this? Uh, they're like healthy chill like this, especially me. Fire, fire, hey, what's fire. the lowest weight that you fought at? Uh, 129. Do you feel? Damn, 129? What? All right, let's get into the questions, man. I posted it like two hours ago. I have like hundreds of questions, bro. Hundreds. Go to the bottom, look, look at all these questions, bro. Like, and it's still going, bro. People want to know stuff about you, Mark, and that's what that's this dope. is for, bro. That's dope. Shout out to people. Yeah, no, bro. The people are going crazy, bro. Yeah. What is it called? The Sani Army? The Sani... What, what are they called? Sani Army. Sani Army? The Sani Army? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all going to war. <laughs> First question is coming from Hoodie Vert, my editor. Mm. Shout out to editor. How does it feel to be a professional? Like, what is that feeling like, knowing that you are pro? Like, you're... You're not an amateur, you're not in the U-17s no more, you're not in the USA U team how you used to be. It's pretty insane because I've been doing this my whole life. It's no more fun than me. Like, this is like my job now. Mm -hmm. Let's treat it as a job and like, in the same way, like, yeah, you have fun, but like, you have fun when you win. So fun time's over, like, you're locked in. Yeah, like, treat it like a job. Show up, do what you gotta do, and what is fun about it is the winning part. Mm. That's fun. Hey, Mark, bullshit aside, bullshit aside. You ever like that ass was crazy? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like bullshit aside though. Like you ever get put up against your opponent, right? Like you ever just been like, damn, like you ever been scared? Um, not or, like, every fear. opponent. Every opponent that you see, you're like, all right, fuck it, just another like, day. Like it has to get done. Like I'm not losing. That's my mind. Mm. I'm not losing. That's Whoever's hard. in front of you I'm is losing. losing. Yeah, but I'm not losing yet. That's fire. So you go in already with confidence. Yeah. Like, you know you're gonna beat this dude's ass. Like, I know I'm confident, like, in my abilities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fire. Like, you put in the work, you did the training, you did the early mornings, you did the early morning runs, running up mountains and stuff. Like, this dude yeah. right here is losing. 
They're like, yeah, you, you kind of think of everything I miss out on. You're like, I'll make this guy pay for it. Oh, <laughs> that's a good question, Yeti. Hey, you know what's crazy though? Cause you be fighting, you be fighting like, like your opponents sometimes are older than you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you know when they say like, oh, like he got grown man strength, oh, yeah. right? Oh, like, is that a thing? That's a thing, bro. Yeah, they say it, old like, man strength, grown man, grown, grown man strength, yeah, like yeah. grown man, like man strength. Mmm, that is very true. Like older dudes when you're playing like Sunday League, like the older bro, dudes, strong as fuck. Strong, strong bro. bro. They're like 30 something. Like strong. I'd rather bump into somebody that's like, like have, 22, have, 23. They have like stiff ass arms. Uh, no, handshakes. Hands. That like, too. Like their forearms, bro. Older people have yeah. really strong forearms. Cause I remember yeah. one of the fights that I was looking at on my phone. I think your guy was like maybe like three or four years older. He was like late 20s. You were like early 20s. And I was like, damn. Cause I, whenever I play people, like Sunday league, and I see an older guy, I'm like, this motherfucker gonna body me. Yeah, he's gonna be like, I already, I already know that, like, if I go one on one, like, I'm gonna get fucked, you know? <laughs> yeah. Somebody faced somebody, and he was getting clowned because he was like, oh, you fought an old man. So I watched the fight, and that old man was, like, getting good hits. Mm -hmm. and I think who I was it? Was it Roly? Yeah, I, I think I know what you're talking about. It was Roly versus an opponent that was a lot older than him. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I could never be a boxer, bro. This shit be too good. Yeah, bro. Like, bro. I'm glad I make YouTube videos, bro. Yeah, because having to give yeah. this up right here, this little salsita on top yeah. of that pas pastor. <laughs> hey, growing up, you know how there'd be like drama and shit? Mm -hmm. No one ever tried to press you? Oh, yeah, like in high or, like, school. Like middle school, because you, and even in middle school, you kind of, I'm sure you already know how to fight, right? So basically, yeah. you've been boxing since you were four. So when you yeah. were young, did anybody ever try to step up to you or try to like, you know, little bro you? Nah, it never happened. Did people know? Yeah, a lot of people knew. Like, oh, like but like, I was really quiet, like really antisocial quiet. Mm -hmm. So like, imagine- You kept to yourself. Imagine you see like, I'm probably like 4'10", probably in middle school. Guys, you were little then, huh? I was little, like in, in middle school, 70 pounds, bro, 75 pounds. Bro, I was, I was probably the same. Yeah. Nah, I was um, in middle school, I think I was five foot, five foot four, uh, 280 pounds. All right, bro. So, so basically, like, <laughs> people didn't mess with me. Which I respect, cause I, I wasn't like really cocky with it either. I was just to myself. I was a little nerd in school. So like usually boxers are like a little cocky, you know? Mm -hmm. Like you kind of have to be confident, cocky to be like a, a boxer that can talk mess. Yeah. So like for you that you were antisocial, you kind of keep to yourself. How are you gonna incorporate that into boxing to where like you can intimidate an opponent? I feel like being like Hispanic, like a lot of Hispanics, like they don't like people that talk a lot. Uh -huh. Before the fight. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know. better. Like Canelo, like, mm -hmm. he's just staring the guy down. He quiet most of the time. He doesn't talk much, yeah. Get the fuck out of here, man. Please, get the fuck out of here, man. Fuck you, man. Get the fuck out of here because I'm, I'm gonna fuck you out right now, motherfucker. It's kind of like Messi. Oh my God, bro. Is dick riding all you do? You know, mm -hmm. like you see Messi and he doesn't really talk much, but when he talks shit, it's all over. He's it's like, like oh, dang, man, he said something. something. Mm. Oh, yeah. So you're messy. So <laughs> is what you're telling me. I respect it. Yeah. That's fire. Okay, okay. I see what you mean. Talk to us about your pops. How's that relationship with you and your dad like? Um, obviously, you know, your dad probably played a big role because I always see him there ringside. I always see him there when when you're dieting. He's right there next to you. Like anytime I see you doing something boxing related, your dad is right next to you. So talk talk about your relationship with your dad growing up and how that came about. My dad, um, growing up, that's my. Like superhero. Yeah. Like my dad's strongest man in the world. That boy literally has a cape around him 24 7. And a shirt that says <laughs> Mark Castro with Mark Castro's oh, yeah, face on it. He always wears my shirt. Yeah, always, he always so. rocking it. Nah, like I, I want to answer this like perfect because it's my dad, you know? You're good, you're good. Take your time. He's been my dad my whole life, but he's always been there. And like you don't realize that he's always been there until like you go through some things. Yeah. And, like he was right there by my side. So it's kind of like you look back and you're like, yeah. dang, he was right yeah. there with me. Mm -hmm. Like he's never left my side or like he's <laughs> he's been protecting me and guiding me. And I love that because our, our relationship has grown from like me being a kid. So like doing everything he says, to like me eventually becoming a teenager. And you know, like you get a little, like not off track, but like- You gotta you do wanna, teenager things. You don't, not even teenager, you don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. Like say the right advice, but you don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. yeah, and eventually you get a little more young. Yeah. yeah, you get a little older. You're kind of like, hey, like he's right. Let me listen to little things and like let me still do my thing. But then I feel like I'm at a point in my uh, point in my career, point in my life where it's kind of like, hey, it's whatever my dad says. Yeah, it's like, like it's like, oh, go through my dad, or like, and I, I love that because it's like we kind of have the same mentality when it comes to like 
Like he kind of molded me like him, and some people see that and like being compared to my dad, I kind of like it. Yeah. Your dad, your dad, your <laughs> dad's cool. He's a solid man. Yeah, he's, he's like he's firm, like physically kinda. too, like physically, like he's solid. Yeah, that boy looks like <laughs> grown man strength. Uh -huh. Like yeah, he got that. Say he got grown man strength. I yes. sparred him before. Oh, where did one? Nah, like he was working defense. Mm. He's like, I so want you like hit me, hit me. I want you to hit me. Type of defense. Nah, like, hit, like he's like, try to hit me. You can't hit me. And like I'll miss, I'll miss. You know, like here and there I'll get shots in, but like I wasn't trying to hurt him, but like he was trying to help me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's like, I need you to. Like it was during COVID, you know. Yeah. Don't really have sparring. So that too, training. But my dad, yeah. Has he trained you your whole life? My whole life. So my dad just been there. He's he's a man, you know. He's I, I shout out. He's the wizard behind all of it. Shout out Mark's dad, bro, for molding such shout a out, good shout cool out, young shout man. Shout out the bro. goat. What's your dad's name, bro, for the people that don't know? Tony Castro. Tony Castro, man. Shout out to you, Tony. I've met Tony before, cool dude. He's always been like my number one supporter. Like, you know, you said always wearing the shirts. Yeah. He's he's the like, all right. Like you're gonna be the superstar. Like you're, you're this, you're that. Like even before, like putting it in your head. I used to train at Callaway Park. I would have to hear stories where people would be like, my dad would tell people like, oh my, my son's gonna be champ. My son's gonna be champ. Like I'm like four or five years old. <laughs> and he was already having. Yeah, it in his he was head. like like hyping me up. That's like, oh, he's champ. But like not not I'm like no cocky. Like it's kind of like just believe it. Like he he's good. You know he he mm -hmm. got it in. Like I'm gonna take him. Take him all the way. Manifestation. He already knew what he was gonna do with you. Yeah. And I'm his only boy, so. Mm. Oh, you're the only son? Yeah. You was the one chance he got at the Mbappe project. At the, the Mbappe <laughs> project. <laughs> yep. At the prodigy. At the prodigy. <laughs> Basically, what the Mbappe project is is when you get a son, you just mold him to be like Mbappe. You just mold him to be great. Yeah. I always think like if I had a brother. Damn. Man, how would that? Uh, would you think he would have been a boxer too? I think maybe. Yeah. Probably. probably yeah. Yeah. But like, it wouldn't be the same. <laughs> like, who's your toughest opponent? Like, who have you faced and you were like, oh, that was a tough fight. Like, he made me work for it. Obviously, you haven't lost yet, but there might have been one where it was like, you got a couple good hits in. Probably my toughest opponent was probably like, I feel like me. I'm like my toughest. Like, you? Like, my, like, I kind of like, my toughest opponent would be me, like, where it's kind of like, you don't do the things right. Mm. And you start slacking, where you're just kind of like. The mental battle. So your yeah. own mental battle. Basically like maybe going to sleep early. Like that little thing, stretching a little more. By the distractions we talking about girls too. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh just me. I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm all serious. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever get used to like getting hit? Cause like, bro, you're, you're getting hit a lot. You feel me? As a boxer, you're getting hit in the face, you're getting hit in the body. Like, is that something your body gets used to slowly or like? Is it still just like I don't think you get used to getting hit. So like you hit, you're like, oh. All right, I feel like fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It's like getting slapped. <laughs> I was like, so but that's the thing, bro. Slap. You get it hit over and over in sparring and training fights. Like you wake up and you're like, I bet I'm finna go get hit a couple times. <laughs> like I'm gonna hit him back. Don't get me wrong. You're yeah. gonna throw yours too. But you wake up knowing I don't finna go get hit real quick. Yeah. Um, like, do you get used to it or is it just I don't think you get used to it. You might, it might hurt a little less, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's like, it's annoying. Like, you get hit, you're like, man, should have blocked that. Like, what's a day in the life for you? Like, what, like, tell me about your day leading up to a fight. We'll wake up in the morning, maybe go run, and then eat lunch, because I have breakfast in the morning, and then probably go sparring or hit the gym by six. So if we have to be at the sparring, <clears throat> say it's two hours away, we drive at four. But if it's in, we're, we're training here, Wherever it's at, you know, like in Fresno, mm -hmm. we go to the gym like at six. <clears throat> okay. Your dad guides you through every workout, right? Yeah. He's like, like, is your dad with you in the in the sparrings? Like every time every you're day. training, yeah. every day. Yeah. So your dad's there twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. That's sick. Like, that's that's crazy though. Cause like I don't know though, cause I couldn't imagine being with my parents. Like, <laughs> with my dad the whole time. Yeah, it is different. It's though, different. Though, that's though, like, you too. grow, you grow into that, you know. Yeah, like now you're used to it. it's normalized. Well, like now, it's like normal. it's kind of like before. Say you would think it's annoying, like oh, but it's like nah, like he's here to help me. Mm -hmm. Like you look at it that way, so it's like all perspective. You're like, all right, we're doing this. We're on a mission together. Yeah, like we gotta get through this training and make sure we get that fight in. <laughs> a question I got asked a lot was, what keeps you motivated? Mm -hmm. You know, because boxing isn't easy, bro. Boxing, you know how said it, is like one of the one of the hardest, hardest sports, bro. Like you like just physically, you gotta be straight. Mentally, you gotta be straight. Yeah. Health wise, you gotta be straight. That that twin, you you read my mind. But yeah, basically, how do you stay motivated? Like, what keeps you going? What keeps me going? Um, I want to be the the younger. 
I want to be the role model I needed when I grow up. Mm-hmm. So like, I didn't really have a role model growing up, like a sports role model. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like I want to be that for the kids. Cause oh, I know, like, I, I know, I know what it's like to like. You see your favorite athlete. You see him how he puts on his shoes. You see how he wears his jersey. You know. Yeah. You see how what shoes he trains with, what socks he uses. Like you want to be just like him. You want to be just like him. Yeah. So like I feel like I'm doing that for like the younger me, just to make him happy. That's hard. Yeah, that's fire. And then like that keeps you going because you're like I like what if younger me's watching me? Like I need to make him proud. That's dope, bro. You setting a good example. Yeah. Shit, I want to be like you. <laughs> like, yeah, me too. I, I want to know how to like throw him. hands, bro. I that was know how to fight. Yeah, that was deep answer. Bro. How did you meet me and Yerohan? Because somebody said that's so random that you know Mark Castro. Because to somebody that just knows you, just like knows you as a boxer, somebody that knows me just knows me as an influencer. Like, where did we meet or how? I remember. Or how did you know of me? Like, well, nah, you... Mark. In the boxing world, bro, you're like. You're hella known, yeah, bro. bro you're huge. When we went to uh, the Garcia fight yeah. recently, like, bro, everybody, that bro, was everybody was stopping you. Shout out Houston. They Shout out Houston. 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 Love, man. Houston. Most love out of everybody. Like, no bias to Houston, but like, y'all showed the most love. That was his first time in Houston, and bro, every two steps he took, like, mob, somebody knew who he was. It would be like a forty-year-old man, and then a. 12 year old kid and then a 30 year old and then a 17 year old like it was like yeah it was crazy the range was crazy, was crazy. yeah was everybody crazy. just knew who you were bro yeah. you think is that because of the boxing because of social media because all of it combined i feel like all of it combined but more importantly like i guess the way i carry myself yeah, I, I, i'm approachable people people like you yeah, yeah people yeah. like you they see oh that's mark what's up mark and they already like know that they so like i just try to make it seem like i'm a boxer but at the same time i'm still human yeah, yeah. you know yeah. like you still a dude yeah, like I'm outside with y'all. Like we were, we're all running. That's very like, true. I met him through him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So how did I meet Santi? I think my boy Corona was throwing an event. Yeah. And I just met Corona too, and then I heard like some influencer was coming to town, and then Santi, Santi, and like. Did I you seen, know? Did you know me before, or you just looked me up whenever people were saying, "Oh, Santi's coming." I just heard your name. I heard your name, but I just, I didn't see the poster yet. Yeah. So I heard Santi, Santi, Santi. So I just heard that, and I was like, "All right, whatever," and then. They wanted me to go to the event, and I was like, yeah, I'll just pull up, you know? But I, I can't make no promises, because Canelo fights that weekend, so. Yeah. So, it was when Canelo fought Kayla Plant. I ended up going to that fight, so I didn't go to the event. Mm-hmm. And then, but when I seen the poster, I'm like, like, Santi, I'm like, Santea? Because that's what it looks like, mm-hmm. Santea. I'm like, uh-huh. they're like, no, it's Santi. I'm like, no, Santea. <laughs> but I've seen, I've seen Santi's videos when it was the awkward like, mm, like the like, the awkward baby. Whenever I was first starting and I wouldn't yeah. talk. And yeah, was that was baby. fire. Like those, I was like, like who's this guy? Like he's got me cracking up the whole time. Appreciate like, it. Who's this cute ass guy? <laughs> <laughs> and it'll just be random stuff. Like it'll just be like, he's just doing whatever. Anyway, you had stayed in. You stayed in Fresno. Yeah, I was supposed to leave that night, but I stayed in Fresno for like the next three days. Yeah, and then somehow we just. Ended up meeting and we just we just cool. We ended up in the same room yeah. somehow yeah. through mutual friends and then yeah I I think we played FIFA the yeah. first time we ever met. I still got the hundred for me. Yeah he he, he signed um, it. I made you him beat sign. him? Yeah. yeah he beat me bro. Nah he signed really? it signed it. It's just, bro like kind of crazy. I would and I was confident I was like this dude boxes but he be in the gym. I was like, like he don't have time. He be for in that. the gym he don't got time for all that FIFA so I was playing all confident and cocky and then bro beats me by like two goals nah, i think crazy. i think it was like it was for 100 bucks too no, it was 50 and like if oh, you don't 50. score it doubles it was 50 and then we did double or nothing yeah, yeah. and then he beat me again and then we're like oh we invited to my next fight and then we invited him to the next fight in vegas and i pulled up got the knockout mm. and then we celebrated so after celebrated. with family had some food yeah, went to a food. restaurant i too. met you that's when i met you right yeah house kitchen mm-hmm. yeah vegas when i fought and I, I you were like you have a plus one and i was like oh i'm gonna bring my boyero yeah like i'm not being kevin i was like oh okay i yeah. think yeah i was like oh, okay all right but i have the most important question of them all like this one actually like dig deep and think about this one mark if me and yero were to fight Ooh. who you got your money on like this is the best question of the day, That's Mark. One. That's like, one. cause like you, you like you forget, like I'm very athletic, bro. Like I'm athletic as fuck. I but might then, not be the strongest. But then at the same time, though, it's like the reach. Yeah, the, the reach, reach is, is crazy. crazy. Like I could probably go like this, and he would be like right here. But he would have to go like deep. I feel to like. Dodge it. Like that's, a dog in That's fucked up, bro. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Let's go. 
So you're getting your money on Yeti. It's because you know what? It's because I took my shirt off yesterday. Yeah, like, he was so like, he got that in his head. Yeah, he has that. No, I'm not going to lie. I showed him the picture. He went, damn. He like looked at it again. <laughs> like I was hella flexing. Yeah. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> he <laughs> took off his pick and flex. His muscles like are cut. And he had abs. And I was like, wait. I was like, you have abs? <laughs> you know, he had it like that. Huh? I'm just skinny. Because if I take my shirt off, it's like. You know? Bro got a little baby going in there. I got like a little like. Respect. And guess who got him pregnant? What? All right, my <laughs> you think you'd be able to take a body shot from him? Fuck no. <laughs> nah, <laughs> not even just on one. Funny just little. We just one, bro. bro. I'm tiny, bro. Oh, he He's calling me little, bro. <laughs> and he and Mark isn't like a huge dude. dude you yeah, feel me? Yeah, yeah. I think I could take a body shot from you. No. What I if we did it? I hurt you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you, man, you can knock the wind out of me. Huh? Like you can knock the wind out of me. Probably, but no. It's just a body shot, bro. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, you're just gonna be in pain for like. Five well, like, imagine you go, you go pee blood. Wait, why would you pee blood? Because like you, you, you start bleeding internally. Nah, yeah, exactly. that ass. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. I didn't even know that. There's like documents happen. of fighters that they'll, they'll pee blood. Nah, that's just because they're bleeding thing internally. In life, yeah, like they'll be like, oh, I was peeing blood after the fight, or like throwing up blood. What can, if we have can, the? Can you hit what me if once? we have the little, the little sack thing or the little? Like, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, if I had the thing, like, would you? Oosh, yeah. Oosh. yeah. So if we go to a boxing gym right now and I put the thing on you, would? Oosh, oosh. Yeah, we'll have to do it for like a TikTok or something. Like. I'm down for that, honestly. We can That'd be fire. Out. We're gonna go to Mark's hometown. I'll put on the thing and I'll do one body shot and then I'll do one without it. Go to my gym, iron on this. Do bro. bro, I want to see what it feels I like, bro. You can put yourself in the boxer's experience. Bro, imagine coming up against him and, and y'all are both like this. Like, put your hands up. Y'all are both like this and Mark just goes. <laughs> right here. Nah. Oh, that shit sounds horrible. Yo, what? What if we, bro? That's gonna be so fire. Nah, the imagine. boxing video, cause like we could go all out against him, and he would just like, you know what I mean? Like he like could like dodge did. everything and block everything. Hey, you think you could dodge one of my punches? Like if I like actually like swung at you fast? Yeah. You could. I probably wouldn't duck it. I probably block it. Oh, uh, okay. Like, like wait, if better, if, probably... if I was trying to fight you, like, and I was going all out, you think you'd be able to like either dodge or block every single one of my hits? Yeah, majority. Of Cause I remember I was fighting Ray, bro, and I felt like I couldn't touch him. Yeah. Like he was just like ducking everything. Bro, huh? everything. Yeah. Yeah. And he's not even a pro boxer, so I'm thinking like that's gonna be fun. I can't wait. I can't wait to actually film the boxing video and like be trying to hit you and I'm missing. We're gonna fight. Yeah. Oh. If we're gonna do a boxing video, I'm gonna box you. Oh. Can I get someone to fight you? Yeah. I don't want to fight you. Why not? No. I'm not. You don't have to hit me. Hell no, nah, bro. You get someone to fight him, he's actually going to stick him. Who, me? <laughs> no, the other guy's going to yeah, <laughs> Probably. Probably. Nah, I would want to do you because I would feel safe. Like, I feel like you'd probably, like, kind of half punch me. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, like a little not fully follow through kind of punch. Anyways, man, stay tuned for the boxing video. Any other questions you want to ask Mark Casho before we head off on this beautiful, long interview? Uh, nah, bro. Thank you, though. She's an experience to be around. She's a vibe. I was expecting something. I yeah, genuinely bro. fuck with you, though. Like, you just another, like, live ass dude around us. Like, generally speaking, off camera, like, this is the first time we've ever sat down with Mark and actually filmed something. And I've known him for, like, almost two years. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Thank and, you like, for me. every time I've been around Mark, humble, genuine. Like he said, he's a little anti-social at first. Like, he'll keep to himself. But, like, once you get to know him, he'll, he just started talking to us. He to just guys. barely started yeah. talking, talking to us. <laughs> and it's been two years, bro. That's how humble he is, bro. Like, he won't say anything, like, OD. Like, he'll just chill and vibe. Anyways, if you want to check out Mark Castro's socials, like I said, this is his app on all socials. It's the same on all of them, right? Yeah. This is his app on TikTok, Can Instagram. Yeah, go ahead. I just want to say thank you for all the support. First time doing like something like this. I appreciate doing it with Santi first. Let's go. That's love. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it, bro. That's love, man. But make sure you keep an eye on this young man, bro, because he's going to be moving up the ranks. Every year you see him, he's going to be. Because that's what he told me whenever I first met him, man. That's what's been happening. That's what's been happening, yeah. So stay tuned for more Mark Castro fights, more Mark Castro content in general. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you to Mark. I will see you tomorrow. Peace.